My mom and I are both fragile, vulnerable, and mentally ill to varying, you know, in varying degrees of severity, okay? We need to be with Joe. Joe's a good man, and he'll protect us and keep us safe. We need to be with Joe. We need to not just get away from this hell, this house that's just turned into, a, you know. We need to get the hell out of this state as well. Including for her sake, you know. Get away from the vulture professionals who always just want to drug her up more. I don't know if I've told you guys, but she hasn't exhibited any type of, I, I got, I, you know, she's, she, she was on death's door in the regular hospital, okay, and, and this, and this, and again, she's, she hasn't exhibited any mental illness. She hasn't exhibited any type of, any psychosis, any type of anything. All these months. It's like I'm visiting her three times a week in a SNF, skilled nursing facility, okay, in this nursing home. I remember she just has mild dementia. That's why she's being proven right about things that she says happen. And, um... She hasn't exhibited any, any type of anything. And like I said, there's too much stimulation at home, including, she might think she wants it, but then when she's well and gets out of the mental, she says, all he wants is sex. You know, she doesn't even, I don't even know if she's even attracted to him, even wants, like when she's sick, it's different. And I'm just saying there's too much stimulation. I've essentially got my old mom back for these past months. Sweet, kind. And again, on a massive, very, very, you know, it's that is a, a significant, significant reduction of 15 milligrams in her Zyprexa daily dosage, okay? Remember those motherfuckers before were giving her 30 a day. They had them as PRNs, as needed if she's agitated. And meanwhile, as some of you know how upset I was about that, because what if it's th that that's making her agitated, number one, and then it'll make her more agitated. It's a vicious circle where they can give her more because she's agitated, six, etc. And then I actually talked to someone knowledgeable who can't even imagine, that, that's not fast acting, why would that be given as an as needed? It just makes them feel better, that's all. It makes the staff, the nurses feel better to give her that. That's all it is. I, I'm adamant about that. I believe that getting 30 milligrams of Zaya Zyprexa was making my mother worse. So I found out why that trash is still in my, my driveway. I was harboring fantasies, even though I wasn't going to have them do it. I was harboring fantasies that they would actually feel bad, that they would realize with any non-moron, that I this, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not in the wrong here. Not in any universe can somebody twist this around and say that I'm wrong. Again, my elevator, elevator, elevator pitch, okay? Papered it over with carpet. Didn't communicate with me. Didn't give me the opportunity to decide whether I felt it was necessary to do the other side of the closet. Now, can he be a liar? 
and go around and say, oh, you know, Laura and I had a secret agreement. I did this extra stuff for her and didn't charge her. My plumber came all the way over here. She's just ungrateful, you know. We could have charged her for, like, like, a, like close to a thousand. Yeah. And if that had been the case and you had said, I have to charge you, or I cannot do the other half of your closet, it's a no-brainer. I would say, no, We from day one, we knew the closet needed to be done. So it's not even rational because remember what church women said? She thinks that if she's like, why didn't you come? We could have forced him. I don't think he could have, you know? But whatever, you think we, you, you to ask me, do you want me to get the, the pastor, like, to force him now to come and do the work? Right? No, I don't. But they're twisting it around now, and I sent nine emails, forwarded them to Joe, because I want, I'm like, will you call them and just find out why they're not doing the trash? And, um, from my driveway. By the way, they had a thousand... I had a thousand, a thousand dollar estimate down for what will wind up being just three hundred plus buying the bag. The it's a bag you get at Lowe's, and they come and pick it up for a few hundred. When he gave the estimate, he didn't know if he would need to. Remember, his wife messed up and actually made higher estimates, so he had all that money to play with, and he has to fuck me over by regarding my closet. And then behave as if I'm being ungrateful because he did all this extra work again. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. But in any case, Joe's like, why don't you, if you won't open those emails, why don't you just send them to me? So I did. But it's very difficult. It's, it's, it's really difficult to not read something but open it up and forward it. Okay? Especially if something's in the subject heading. Well, I caught the very recent one that... You know, we'll we'll call and get rid of that when you give us our final payment. I'm the honorable one, okay? I'm the one who, even though I, I could have given you exactly what the insurance company owed me, I gave you 1700 extra because I wanted to give you as much as possible. Give my friend who's good to me as much as possible, even though technically I didn't have to, okay? I scraped the bottom of the barrel of my money and gave him... You know, because I didn't want to do in the dishwasher and all that. And they're going to turn around and act like I might screw them over? I could, if we went to court, you'd lose. I have the pictures from September that we took. Of the pictures we took the right, right after the, so the beginning first week in October, they're proved. I have your $2,200 estimate for the closet. And what you did for the closet wouldn't come to that in any universe. And you're going to turn around and, and say you're not going to get rid of that trash until I give you the final payment? Well, guess what, motherfucker? I wouldn't trust you, especially this attitude. I will have to take that and get it rid of it myself and subtract it from the final payment. You get it? In good faith. Because they're in the wrong, because I could make life really difficult for them. I'm in, I'd be in the right to say, get your ass over here and do that closet like we agreed, okay? Like you know damn well we agreed. Like you told, like the insurance describes in the pages, right? I'd be in within my right, or you're not getting a dime, right? And they're gonna turn it around and say we're not getting rid of that trash until you pay us the money you owe us. See how people are. I'm sickened. I was in my right. See, I knew it instinctively. I was in my right to not read anything because I didn't want to have to be ripped apart or told off or be called ungrateful or kicking up dust or more gaslighting from him or whatever. You realize that's ridiculous. You realize I did, I, I'd be in my right. Okay, he didn't do the majority of the closet. It's described in there. It's the whole thing is described in there to do it. He signed a paper agreeing to do it. And they're going to turn around. She's going to turn around and say, I'm not getting that call in to pay a few hundred dollars to get that trash out of your driveway until we get our final payment. It's not even rational. 
because again, I am in my right, would be in my right to say I'm not paying you until you do what you should have done in the first place. If we went to small claims court, I'd win in a heartbeat. The insurance company described 10 pages. He already opted to not do the fucking wall in the bathroom and I let that go. You see, I'd win in a heartbeat. And they're going to nickel and dime and not get rid of the trash in my driveway? Of course I'm not going to count on them. I don't want it sitting there for potentially weeks. Plus, if we wait till they get the check, it takes a week for it to be picked up. All he did was buy a bag at Lowe's. It doesn't have to be I can call to have it removed from my driveway and pay. And subtract it from the money I owe them. But just the fact they're doing that to me, trying to twist it around like I wouldn't pay them, it's disgusting. It's too fucking painful. I don't even want to talk to Joe today. This is reminiscent of when I mailed out the stuff that, that, that my aunt, when my aunt took over my mom or whatever. Remember, I didn't fight any ever in court. I'm all in charge now, but it's because it's what my mom wanted. She wised up. I didn't, auntie knows I didn't fight her in court. I didn't, you know, I also didn't get my mom that apartment. My mom did that behind my back too. I helped her when she had it, but I didn't get find it for her. And I wasn't aware of it until it was a done deal. I just, I can't, I can't catch a break. You can say you caught a break when your mom didn't die, I know. It's just, I just wanted to come home and have this be over. Have the stress of just this. I'm still worried sick for my mom at all times. I brought her her shoes. With the thin socks. Shoes better not get stolen, my God. They still have a tag in the bottom of them, and I marked them right and left. Because I know she puts them on the wrong feet. She's done that. And I could see why that would happen, because I had difficulty looking at them, too. You almost can't even tell. But my what I figured out is Velcro will always go out. I bet that's how it's standard. I bet it's industry standard for Velcro shoes that they go through. They always face out. So your Velcro is going to go bloop to the outward, not this way to inward, okay? So that's how I know what the shoes are on the right feet. Because you can't really tell from the little thing down the thing. Like I had to second guess my own self and try on her shoes because I wear, I wear them essentially the same size. I might wear a little bigger, technically, in sneakers, because she doesn't have that half inch or an inch at the top, you know. It's supposed to be a half inch, but if you have a bigger foot, when foot's bigger than other, it can wind up being like three quarters of an inch or something. It's better to be m more room than less when you have when you're exercising, when you're walking, power walking. Yeah, I was. I was harboring fantasies. thinking I'm being immature I should just read the stuff but that was this was the reason it was more likely they were going to rip me apart so now Joe's reading it and he's going to I said you got to be gentle Joe it's going to upset me he's not going to read them to me he's just going to going to give me an idea but he already had read that one part in the subject heading he's like well from their perspective they're thinking you know they're just being petty they're thinking well you haven't paid us we don't have to remove the trash yeah but I could technically force you to come back and rip up the carpet and do what you agreed to do. With me and with the insurance company. Oh. I'm just glad I didn't read her text. I was harboring fantasies that maybe she was going to take my side at least to a degree. It'd be interesting to see how she twists everything around. And Joe doesn't care, remember? Light water stain doesn't matter to him. It's still something in your home. It wasn't an agreement. You just do where there's rot. And if there was extra stuff you found, you were supposed to stop the job 
and get it paid for by my insurance company, my mom's insurance company. That's what the agreement is you're supposed to do. And that is why when they found more damage five, six years ago, my mom and I and Omar, who were desperate, all three of us wanted to come home here. We had to stay an extra week and a half. Yeah, it's time. It's time for my mother and I to get the fuck out of here. Fortunate. Joe was telling me, anyway, he was reading something where someone said, if you have just one real good friend in this life, you should consider yourself lucky. And I told him, I explained to Joe, I'm like, you know I didn't view this guy as a friend friend, an acquaintance friend. Someone who's not going to intentionally fuck me over. Either, you know, financially by not doing my closet or just sneaky and, and, and whatever. Or what I experienced in other times, you know, where it's not financial but it's still being fucked over because you think somebody's going to care about you and instead they start behaving in ways, talking to you in ways that tell you they couldn't, have po couldn't possibly care about you and like it must never have cared about you. Because someone who cares about you will value the fact that they're behaving in ways where they could lose you for good. See? They don't want to lose you. You matter to them as a friend or as more than a friend. So they're going to, you know, not want to do things that could jeopardize their relationship with you because they value you. play you what I have for Joe because I don't think my con my public stress to me is gonna call me. He's not gonna call me. I don't think he would. If he did he would hear this and if he asked me what happened and I'm like, what is it what it doesn't matter. Name of my contract has fucked me over. Name of my public adjuster. Who probably won't believe it anyway. Just like with that stupid insurance where they find me, uh, the, the companies that find me a room and I have to be treated like a little kid by my public adjuster. You're not allowed to call them. They say you're being verbally abusive towards them. I'm going to call. And then you call once and it's all fucked up. And if I hadn't disobeyed you public adjuster and, and called, I would have been fucked over and not even had a, a, a hotel room potentially or not had one with a refrigerator, you know? We were running out of time. We needed to find something and I wanted it up out of the way. Forbidden by him. You're not allowed to call them. I'm so tired of being walked all over and treated like fucking shit in this life. I can't we need my mom and I need to go to Joe's. As in be with Joe. Sell the place and buy a place near Joe or buy a place with Joe. But since we we he be he has a mortgage, we'd we'd be buying the place and it wouldn't be in Joe's name at all. It's beyond time. even know how I've survived any of it. That's why, again, I didn't do my mom's back taxes, even though I beat myself up over that. I just didn't do it. I just, every time I was, you know, maybe if this year, last year with my mom in the middle, I was four times and all the things that accompanied that, and I could breathe, you know, if I had a chance to breathe, maybe I would have been inclined to do the fucking back taxes, okay? You know what I mean? I feel like I'm even still breathing.
fuck the back taxes. Like I said, there's no, there's 100% certainty that my mom would have taken the first offer, which was about nine thousand dollars less. Okay. And I didn't just get us a public adjuster. I questioned him. I, I got on my contractor's ass. Make sure you say this or that because this is we're trying to get as much money as we can. You have to be thorough when you're here in my home with with the two adjusters while my mom and I are off you know, trying to get her a new psychiatrist, and, you know. Everything. I do nothing wrong and I keep getting fucked over and burned endlessly. Endlessly fucked over and burned indisputably in this life. Anyone tries to save the contrary. Even with the fucking garbage in my, you know. It, it's petty because I'm, 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 you know, I did this. I had to. Again, I was going to swallow it down begrudgingly. Because what can I do once the carpet's over it? But then it's like. No, when I saw the pictures, no, 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 I was in the right all along, who the fuck cares, who knows or cares, really, I don't know how it, it faded that much, or how it did that, or whatever, but I do know, I'm the homeowner, my contractor can't just be like, I can do what I want, and, and you have to trust me, look at everything I did in your bedroom, I got, I did, what do you think, I'm gonna cut corners, I'm not gonna do that to you, Laura. Fucked me over and I never would have known. End of story. It sums it up. I I, I came close. To, if I hadn't come that day, I wouldn't have known. The rug would have hidden it. Papered over with carpet. Yeah, I was harboring fantasies. Typical me, though. I harbor fantasies about things that, that are never going to be true and never going to come true. You know what I mean? I had fantasies that that she was gonna see the light and 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 be writing nice things to me, but I have I, that's not the case. I even thought they might offer to to do it, but I don't know where they come up with the justification, except for Joe says it's irrelevant. Kicking up dust, all the extra stuff I did for you and didn't charge you—that was your choice. I'm well aware of it. What the hell? I had a bite on my hand like instantly in the nursing home. I feel like... Do you know what I mean? You cannot do something good for somebody. That's why I compared it. I gave an analogy like an abusive relationship with a, 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 a you know, a loved one or, or a boyfriend, girlfriend, you know what I mean? Where you can't justify abusing somebody in your life just because, you know, you're giving them a home, a roof over their heads, a home to live in, or, or any number of things, you know? It's because you're good to them in some way. You, you can't... My contractor, indisputably, I told you what he did for free. I told you how his plumber, they, you know... He volunteered his plumber to, to do fix that dishwasher situation so it's not flooding my house and I can get that stupid piece of crap out of my deck and, and his plumber had to leave and go get a part and whatever and 
you know, my contractor as my friend volunteered that. And then my contractor had also offered to fix under that dishwasher if it needed it. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, he's probably lying about that too. And I, I think it does need it in a certain spot. Or maybe, I don't know. I, I, I have to trust that. And, and you know what I mean? And then I told you that whole vanity situation. I offered to pay. So he can't say, he can say I did stuff, but that's not an excuse. That's what Joe and I would say to you. It's not an excuse. You were not at liberty to decide to cut corners, to not do my closet, because I'd never know. And you did other things instead. It doesn't work that way, not when it's through the insurance and not when you don't communicate and we don't have an actual agreement. It was done in secret because you feel like you did too much for me for free, apparently. And I remember when I was calling him on it, what are you going to do, just bust my ball? Now you busted my balls. He was getting fucking irritated, as I've repeatedly said out here, but I don't care. But then he used the, I did this and I did that, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, you did, indisputably. I only tell the truth, so when I'm tearing you apart online anonymously because no one knows who you are, I'm also saying that, that the good, th you know, the things you did for me for free, but it doesn't change anything. It doesn't justify you're not allowed to do it. Thank you. 